it going everybody? Welcome to another video. It's literally been six months since my last video. So I kind of want to change it up a bit and yes, I cut my hair. I did that like literally six months ago. But anyways, I just kind of want to take this video to actually talk about making coffee in my dorm right now. I'm actually at my house right now. But making coffee in your dorm, you know, with a French press, for example, is actually one of the great ways to save money when it comes to living on campus in college. What I mean by this is like usually if you wanted a coffee at like a coffee shop, for example, or on campus, it might cost maybe three, four dollars just for a cup of coffee. However, if you were to buy your own beans like the ones I have here, a bag, maybe a pound of coffee beans, whole beans, might only run you maybe 10 to $20, so for the sake of argument, we'll say around $15 per pound of beans. And I don't really know the specifics, but I can tell you that a pound of beans can probably get you like 15, maybe even 20 cups of coffee if you do it correctly. So just there, you're already saving like two thirds as much money as you would if you just spent it all on buying coffee pre-made at a coffee shop instead. So we're just gonna go jump right into it. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna be using a French press today. French press is probably one of the easiest methods for making coffee, it's pretty simple. How it works, if I put this closer to the camera, there, right there, basically you're gonna put the beans, the grounds in here, basically put water on it, let it brew, push this thing down just to keep all the grounds at the bottom, pour it out, we have our own coffee as well. So we're just gonna get started. First off, we're gonna need beans. Right now I have dark roast, so actually when it comes to brewing, we're not gonna brew it nearly as long. So with our dark roast, I'm just gonna open this up and get my spoon from behind me. Ta-da! What I'm gonna do with this is basically I'm just gonna put only like two or three scoops in here. I'm not really big with technicalities with coffee. Basically things vary even if you kept all the numbers exactly the same. Stuff would still vary anyway. So I just say two to three scoops. So I have two and a half scoops. We're gonna be grinding this coffee. This is a hand grinder at about a medium coarse grind. What a medium coarse means is basically, I guess to explain it really easy, if you look at the bottom of your French press, whatever French press you have, there's a filter there. And if you see the filter, basically you want to grind it coarse enough so that none of the grinds get through this, like 100%, none of them will ever get through it, and then bump it up just a little bit coarser, just to ensure that that never happens. We don't have some icky grinds all sitting in my coffee when I'm drinking it as well. So now we have that ready, we're gonna start grinding it. I'm probably gonna fast forward the video. But at the same time, as you can see here, I have water in this kettle. What I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna heat the water as well. There's not enough water in here, so right now I'm just gonna fast forward through this, or maybe just skip it. Basically all I'm doing is grinding. I'm gonna fill this with water. I'm also gonna get this to a boil as well. Okay, so we finally finished grinding the beans. That might have taken like three minutes tops. I know it's a bit strenuous, but it's really worth the effort. So now that we have the grounds, now we're just actually gonna take the grounds here. We're gonna pour them right in. Oh, this is this is sloppy. Basically right in here, inside of this little chamber for our French press, make sure we have everything in it. And the water here is just about to boil. So we're about to get onto that. Um, while the water is boiling, we're gonna wait. You wanna get out a phone or a timer. Basically, when it comes to making good coffee, there are three variables you really have to pay attention to. The first one is the temperature of the water, the second one is the time spent brewing, and the third is the coarseness of the grind. We already just got through the coarseness of the grind, again, medium fine, that's what we wanted. A kind of general rule is the finer the coffee, the longer, the shorter it will take to extract all its flavors. The coarser it is, that means it's going to take longer. Basically, just think of it as surface area, it's basic. Basic thermo, is that thermodynamics? I'm not sure I'm an econ major. So once we have that done, we're waiting for this to actually start fully boiling. And make sure to have your phone out as well. So get your phone, get a timer. Basically what we're gonna do is as soon as this thing stops boiling, there's like a blue switch here if you can see it right there. What that means, once that blue goes down, it's actually gonna stop. That means that we've reached boiling. We are not actually gonna brew our coffee right at the boiling point. Nobody brews coffee out of the boiling point. Instead, we actually let it cool a bit. We're gonna let it cool for 30 seconds, maybe get from 212 degrees Fahrenheit to something like 200. So here, now we're gonna wait 30 seconds. So now we're gonna put on a five minute timer. Five minutes are now going. I actually like with my darker roast to actually brew my coffee not that long. With the darker roast especially, it's a lot more intense, a lot stronger as well. So right now we have the timer. We started at five minutes. We wanna start at five minutes when this thing comes off the boil. And we're almost there. A quick update, yes, I will be doing more videos on this channel. It's the summer, I've been super busy during the school year. But I'm not just gonna do college stuff, I'm just gonna do you know my own stuff as well. I'm personally right now over the summer actually learning how to cook. I don't know how to cook. We're at four minutes, 30 seconds. So what is really special right now, I'm just taking a bit break from my little spiel. We're actually gonna put it, sort of make a circular motion above the grinds and do so in a way that only saturates the grinds itself. This is called bloom. So we're not actually just gonna pour all our water right now. We're just gonna pour it just to saturate all the grinds. Do that for another 30 seconds. So once we reach four minutes, again, I'll reiterate five minutes. 
we just wait for it to cool, 4.30, then we put it in four minutes and we pour the rest. So we're almost at four minutes as well. But yeah, I'm gonna make more videos about stuff that might not just pertain to college, because I like making videos, but I know that college is not the only thing on my mind right now, or the only thing on y'all's minds as well. So we just reached four minutes. Now we're just gonna pour it. When we had two scoops, we're actually thinking of a single serving. So in this French press, is about halfway. Again, I'm not super technical. This usually kind of yields me good results. So we're about halfway up to the middle. If you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it that well. So this is done. This is done. I can throw this away. I can start cleaning stuff. And I will see you guys in about 3 minutes and 35 seconds from this point on. So ciao. Oh, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so now we have finally got our coffee done and brewed. So now that it is brewed, we are now just gonna press pretty softly. You don't plunge it like that. You're not trying to stab like a boba cup or something like that. Basically, you just wanna press pretty lightly just to get the coffee to go through the filter. Um, you know, not, not too slowly, but just like a firmly gradual. I, I don't know, just basically don't press too quickly. Like literally, you should be able to do this with the power of like two fingers, which is what I'm doing right now. So do that. You know, that was my dog. My dog is yawning. So we're gonna push this down. We're almost there. And boom. Now we're just gonna put the coffee. Pour the coffee. It's really good coffee. And you can see it's in the nice, beautiful color that is coffee. Makes exactly one serving. And now I'm ready to enjoy my coffee. So, Alexa. Alexa, play I Wanna Dance with Somebody by Whitney Houston. I wanna dance with somebody. Single version by Whitney Houston. So now it's time to drink our coffee. And again, thank you so much guys for watching. Kind of butchered that there. Thanks for watching and make sure to leave something. If you don't want to leave something, that's fine, but I might make some videos in the future. We'll sit behind the back.